Free Radio Live 2013. Joined backstage at Free Radio Live 2013 by our headliner now, Oli Murs. Hello, Free Radio Live. Good to have High you. High five! Come on, it's been a great, it's been a great day, right? It's been absolutely fantastic. Good to have you. Because there was some roadworks. We were panicking that you weren't going to no, be. No, it was time. absolutely fine. We came, we left at the right time. So it was a nice, easy we drive from panicking. Essex. Much. No, don't panic, don't panic. But it's been great. Everyone's been lovely. Got here and it sounds really loud. Twelve and a half thousand people here. It's, 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 a, more it's than a, I think it's fifteen, fifteen thousand people. I think. That's, that's crazy. We're just. But we're, um, I'm really delighted to be here. I think if you know what you guys have done here is amazing. Really great event, and obviously a pleasure to be, you know, to be here and performing. It's great. Well, it's lovely to have you back in the West Midlands. We Thank love you. having you, of course. Thank you. Know. you. Uh, but it's been a great year for you. Yeah. I don't think this event could be top, but only the thing that, that may top it is Simon Cowell's wedding. Are you going to be going? Have you been <laughs> invited yet? No, I don't think so. I mean, it's unless, in the post. Unless he invites me. I haven't been invited yet, so maybe it's in the post. Um, but I don't know. If I get invited, brilliant. If I don't, then, you know, I'm sure um, there's a reason behind it. I don't know. How under pressure would you feel if he said, I want you to sing the sort of first dance song? I would love to. I generally would like I, you know, I haven't seen I haven't seen Simon in about a year, so it'd be great to see him. And I, you know, I'll good luck to him at the wedding. I'm sure it's going to be a great event. But if he asked me to sing a song, I'd sing it. Yeah, it'd be fantastic. And uh, how was it for you going back to the X Factor recently? You did a fantastic performance. Oh, uh, it's on great. There. Ten years anniversary, amazing. Yeah. So for me, it was it was a it was a great event. You know, and um, obviously my single's out right now, doing well, and the and the album's doing great. So it was it was great. You know, ten years. And I you know four years ago I did the show. So. It was an honour to be there. It was really good fun, yeah. I mean, we say going back there, but of course you're involved in Extra Factor and stuff like that over the years. So is it, was it strange just going back just to perform and, and do this? Obviously you helped out on the show with the uh, giving, it's giving always, advice. It's always strange going back. I, I get so, I, the, ner the most nervous I get. I would probably say tonight I'm not very nervous. I'm just really looking forward to it. Yeah. But it's X Factor. I'm like this. I get like a shaky, <laughs> I get like a shaky leg. I don't know why, but I can always get a shaky left leg. Um, well, luckily tonight I feel really confident and great, and but I, you know, I love going next factor. It's brilliant. Now, would would there ever be a case that you would consider? I know it's been mentioned a lot in the past. Consider going on there to judge. I know you've you've helped out and stuff in the past. I mean, I've always been towered. I think every time, yeah. every year, there's been um, last couple of years, especially with Louis or Gary leaving, it's always like Ollie Murs could do it. I generally would love to if I got offered it and I got asked to do it. I'd be delighted. Um, but you know, it's not something that I'm, you know, desperate to do. It's like if it happens, great. If I get invited, if I get asked to do it, then great. I'll look at it. Uh, whether I say yes or no to it, I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I would love to. Do you think I'd be good? I think you'd be good, as long cool. as the shaky left leg doesn't make too Apart much of a noise. My... <laughs> so I think that was the easiest yes I've ever given. <laughs> You're walking down the steps, your legs going yeah. at the beginning. Yeah. Um, but like you said, it's been fantastic for you. When I said you were going to be headline, obviously I was going to be chatting to you. People just tweeted me with two words, secret girlfriend. It's not secret anymore, but how difficult was that to keep it a secret for, for so long? Because I remember you coming in and us chatting about similar sorts yeah, of things. Yeah, but I mean, like, I, I still like, I don't like to talk about it too much because obviously it's a private, um, obviously it's out there in the press now. People can read about it. It's fine. But like, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't that hard really. Like I just do my, I, I live, I leave work at work and I do private life private. It's like you, you, you know, you have your private life, you leave it at home and, you go to work and do your job. So, like, I don't feel like I need to talk about her or what's going on, like, what we did last night. Like, <laughs> it's just, we're just a relationship, you know what I mean? You know, you never know what's going to happen, what's around the corner, how long it will last. Like, this industry is so weird. Like, my job's very tough. But, um, but yeah, it's cool. Let's be honest, keeping it a secret makes it even more fun, though, doesn't exactly. it? Exactly. It makes it more fun for you guys and everyone else yeah. listening and people at home. They're like, has he, has he got one? Or why not even have a girlfriend now? Yeah. Who knows? It's a mystery. Um, but you've been over in Australia and New Zealand recently. You learned the hacker. I did. Wow. So hard. Is it? Because so it just looks like you shout a bit and bang your arms. Kumata, kumata, kiora. Kiora. Ki I always remember kiora because of the drinks. yeah, drinks, yeah. But it was this one move where they like do this with their fingers. Please the, do that in tonight the on stage. It's, it's, it'd be, it'd be a, I might do it tonight. It, we'd, we'd, we'd have trouble with the audience then at that yeah, point. Yeah, definitely. Think. I think so. Yeah. What was, I've got to ask you about this because I read this yesterday about you that you're on the Aussie cricket team's playlist. So hey, is it darling. your fault we're losing the Ashes? I think maybe it is. <laughs> I'm putting it on you, Ollie. I, all I know is that my single, my, my song is getting played on their playlist. And England, I thought it was for England, but I found out it's for Australia. Yeah. So that's obviously why they're obviously winning. Yeah. 
No, I'll claim that if you can. Go for it. <laughs> um, so, you, like we mentioned, you've got the new album and you've yeah. been working with Robbie and stuff like that. How has that been for you? It looks like it's going phenomenal. It's been a great year. Like, everything's worked out for me. The Robbie tour was great. You know, the new album coming out, Special Edition's doing really well. All the singles have done well. Um, you know, it's been a really productive, really fantastic year for me. And that's all thanks, not just um, for my team, but thanks to all the fans and everyone listening and, and watching. Um, you know, they've all been amazing. They've bought, bought into me. They like my music. They like what I do. And I think that's, that's really why I'm still here. So thank you. It's amazing to hear stuff like you talking about you know, already planning a new album for 2014. Yeah. I'm like, have a bit of time off, mate. I know. I Well, I have. I've got like four or five months to write the album. And for me, like, that's no traveling. That's Monday to Friday, weekends off. I get to go to watch football matches. I'm going to say football. Go I know. to the pub. I get to play football with my mates. I get to do all the stuff that I haven't done for such a long time. So I'm really happy about that. And though, so that for me is like time off. But at the same time, I've got. Yeah, you know, a summer single coming out next year, which I'm excited about already. I've already wrote it, and it sounds amazing. Um, so it's all pushed forward, you know. And you've got to strike while the iron's hot, you know. And um, I feel like I'm every album I'm progressing, and um, maybe I'm getting bigger as I do more albums. So that's what I want to try and achieve: is to get bigger, win Brits, and do how, more tours. How was it for you meeting Prince Charles at the Royal Variety? Because that, I mean, you talk about nerve-wracking experiences. It always reminds me of the Mr. Bean scene where he headbutts the, the queen. And I he... wanted to get a selfie. <laughs> yeah. What, what, a, what is a selfie? <laughs> uh, your, uh, uh, your Honour, I was about to say, that sounds like he's a judge. Oh, hello, Your Honour. Uh, your your Honour, Honour, it's the can word I, of 2013. I, Prince Charles, can I have a selfie? Of course on it, definitely. Where's Hashtag, there? hashtag Let me get don't. my phone. <laughs> Camilla, Cam Camille's. What's, on. what's the passcode? Let's Instagram this. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I didn't get around to doing that, but uh, I got to meet them all, Camilla and obviously William. I met I met um, uh, William and Kate like a year ago. Oh, wow. And um, so it was a pleasure to meet them again. I really wanted to meet the Queen, if I'm honest. I'm a bit gutted I didn't meet the Queen. But it was an amazing event. Get a selfie it. with her. Yeah, yeah next cool. time. I mean, I'm around Queens next week, so... <laughs> Um, Ollie, now you looked at this when you came on stage and yeah, I said you are the last person to take this on. It's my game, it's next lines. Little Mix are top with There's nine. There's four of them, come on. I know. This isn't fair. Should we time your score by solo, four? Look at all the solo artists. Connor Maynard, four. Pixie yeah. Lot, seven. She did well. We should have our own leaderboard. I'll time your score by four. Okay. 60 seconds. Okay. That's why this is here. Not to make sure you're on time for stage or anything so like that. It's the six, we'll start. Okay. Five seconds to go. One, two, <laughs> I love this count three, now. four, go. Dear darling, please excuse my writing. I can't start my hands from shaking. Dear darling, Ollie Murs, you're nobody till somebody loves you. Uh, yeah, you're nobody till somebody loves you. You're a cold heart. It's hard times when nobody wants you. Oh. You're nobody... Hey, how you doing? Sorry you can't get through. Why don't you leave your name and your number and I'll get back to you. Uh, I talk a lot of sh when I'm drinking, baby. I'm known to go a little too fat. I've just done the give you the line. Too far. Yeah, that's, I gave you the line there. I've gone too Perfect, far. Perfect. Yes. Let's move on to Christmas songs. Uh, baby, if you've got to go away, I don't think I can take the pain. You got to go away, baby. I can take the pain. To let me stay another day. Stay another day. He's 17. I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents underneath the mistletoe, uh, Christmas tree. All I want for Christmas is you, Santa, baby. Want me forgot to mention one little thing. Oh, I don't know that one, pass. A ring, I don't mean on the phone. Uh, the moon is right, the spirit's up, we're here tonight and that's enough. Say that again? The moon is right, the spirit's up, we're here tonight and that's enough. Oh, I don't enough. know, carry on. Okay, uh, Christmas time, mistletoe and wine. Ah, uh, oh, no, it's over. Go on, I'll let you have this one. Mistletoe and wine. Oh, say that again, quick, 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 quick. Christmas time, mistletoe and wine. Children singing, please, and wine. Mistletoe and wine. Yay. How do you reckon you did, Ollie, on there? How many do you think I get? How did you? How did I do? Right. So you got a score, but you've lodged a complaint. Should we times his score by four to take on Little Mix? Yeah, he's headlining for us. He's been a good lad. Right. Nah, don't times it by four. It's just peep it. Even. Times it by two? No, just what is it? Okay. Ollie. I can tell you. I'll take that out of my mouth. You scored. I'll give you. I'll give you one more. I'll give you that. You scored six. Six points. That's all right. I'm happy with that. Mid table. Next to Pixie, Essex Massive. In between Pixie and Lawson. That's not bad. To be honest, I prefer that. to have been in between the Saturdays and Pixie lot, but I'll take a bit of the Lawson the as well. The amount of people who've looked at that scoreboard and said that. 
I'll take a bit of I'll take a bit of Lawson as well with yeah. Pixie. Bit good sandwich. Days, yeah. Decent sandwich. Great sandwich. Uh, Ollie, lovely to see you as, always. as always. Thank sir. you so much for coming tonight. It's a pleasure to be here. And Thank headlining you. the gig. Enjoy Free Radio Live 2013. Listen, love Free Radio, love you, love Birmingham. It's a pleasure and uh, enjoy the night. Thank you. Free Radio Live 2013. With Birmingham Ormiston Academy. Imagine everything.